Hello, welcome to another Cleave Tech Tech Tips video. This time we're going to look at lightening a gear. Now, why do we lighten the gear? Well, obviously the lighter the gear is, the quicker you can accelerate, the quicker you can decelerate, and generally the less mass you are carrying around on the car as well. There is a slight downside in that you get less gyroscopic stability from the mass of the spinning gear, but this is negligible when compared to the other advantages, as I said before, such as accelerating and decelerating more quickly. So let's get on with the task. So let's start with a Cohosa 42 72 pitch 2 mil gear. It is quite commonly used in lots of classes, mostly 30 second classes, but also some people use 2 millimeters on 24th classes as well. The same this process can apply to all sorts of different gears though. It doesn't it's not limited to this. You'll see I'm going to apply it to a Formula 1 gear. Uh, you could also apply it to your slotted gears or any other types of gear that you might use on different types of slot car. Now, this gear uh, originally weighs 0.785 grams, and I'll put a little picture on the screen so you can see. And as we go through the process, you can see how I am changing the weight of the gear as we go through and making it lighter and lighter. So I've got my setup here. You can't see it all, but I've got my Proxon PCB drill, uh, absolutely fantastic piece of kit, um, runs very true. Uh, again, I'll put a link in the description of where you can get one from, but they are awesome and I recommend you have one. They're very small, sit on your bench nicely, don't take up a lot of room, yet they're really high quality pieces of kit. I'm so glad I've got mine. Also, you're going to need one of these little jigs. Uh, you could make your own, I suppose, but this was so handy. I got this through Slot Racing Shop. Um, this one's designed for a 332 axle, hence why I've got a little bit of shim there opposite the grub screw to shim it out to centralise it on a 2mm axle. So I'm going to start by putting my 40 tooth gear onto an axle. Little grub screw should fit in there, there we go. Notice I'm leaving a bit of axle sticking out the top. Tighten that grub screw up, not too tight, just enough to hold it in place. And then I can slide the jig on top. I tend to line the grub screws up each time. That way I know that I'm going to end up with the same result each time, hopefully, just to be consistent. It's probably not that important, but I just like doing that. Push that on and then tighten the grub screw on the jig. So now the jig and the gear cannot rotate. They are locked together. In my pillar drill, I have a 1.2 millimeter PCB drill. And basically I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna drill through my gear at every one of these points. That's nine holes around the gear. So look, so that's gone through. A little bit of aluminium dust here. And so often I've gone through the gear there. So let's take a closer look at what we're left with. So I've removed the gear from the axle and the jig. And here we are. This is what we're left with. It looks a little bit of a mess on the back. That's because where it's drilled through, it's pushed the little sticker off the back of the gear. So I'm going to remove that sticker. But the front side's not too bad. I've removed most of the swarf. There is still a little bit of swarf left in the holes, which I'll clean out in a minute. But just use a knife and I just pick off that sticker on the back like that just to remove that and you can see it looks a lot a lot better once the sticker's removed and there we go so I'll just clean that last bit of swarf out and then I'll weigh it and then you can see how much material I've removed and how much light the gear is so far so having cleaned that up we're now back down to 0.745 of a gram. Again, there'll be a picture on your screen showing what that weighs. So the next stage, let's open those holes out a little bit more and remove a little bit more weight. So after you remove the sticker, it's always worth remembering to label the gear up. Um, I'll put a zero on this for a 40. 
just to remind myself because I'm doing lots of gears all together uh, of different sizes. So I'm now going to open these holes up a little bit bigger to remove a little bit more weight. I've changed the drill in here for a 1.5 millimeter drill. Some people will go for a bigger drill, but it sort of depends on the pattern you've got. I mean, this is nine holes. So at nine holes around that uh, diameter, then one and a half is OK. You still got plenty of integrity left in the gear. Obviously, the bigger the holes you go, the less gap there is between or between the holes. So therefore, you've got less material, giving the gear less strength. But it's up to you. How much do you want to risk? Let's go. Let's lighten it up. There we go. Drilled through. These clean up a bit better on the back. Not too bad. It's drilled all the way through. So let's weigh it and see how much we've lightened it by again. After drilling the gear out with a 1.5mm drill, I decided to go all out on this one. And I've actually opened the holes up to 1.9mm now. Didn't quite risk 2mm, but these are 1.9mm holes. So I'm going to put a picture on the screen to show how much more weight I've managed to remove by doing that. It's quite considerable, considering this has an aluminium boss as well. I probably wouldn't do it if it had a uh, plastic rim, because then the whole gear would be lighter anyway. But because it's got the aluminium uh, rim, it's worth lightening it even more. Will it work? We shall see. You can let me know in the comments if you think it's going to work or whether it's going to be too weak. But I'm going to use this at the 32nd Nationals coming up very soon in the UK. Well, I think I'll probably use this gear. So we shall wait and see and I'll let you know. Whilst I was also doing that 40 tooth gear, I've also done some Formula One gears. You can see these are S and K 30 tooth gears. Again, I used the same jig, drilled it out. These are drilled out to one and a half mil. Not going to go any more than that on this because it's mostly a plastic uh, rim on this gear. But again, I'll put a picture on the screen showing you the before and after weight of these gears. Haven't quite finished with this gear yet. I'm going to just trim off this back edge. I'm going to literally grind the back edge down just to chamfer that edge a little bit, just to lighten the gear a little bit more. But notice the difference in the bosses. This gear has a completely round boss on it. This one's machined down on both sides. If you're, leave, if you're fixing your gear on with a grub screw, then clearly this boss is much, much lighter and should be the one to go for. So well done s &K for building them like that. However, with this, these gears, I'm going to glue this gear onto the axle. So it doesn't matter if it's got a full round boss because once it's glued onto an axle and I turn this boss down, I'll virtually remove all of that boss and make the gear even lighter still. So you're going to see that in my next video of how to do that. So here I am about to lighten my Formula One gear a little bit more. You can see I've got a two mil shaft in my Proxon Dremel. So these, these things, these Dremels are very accurate or rotary tools are very accurate. I will put a link again in the description where you can get one from. And I think I put also a link in some of my previous videos when I've used these tools. So I'm going to use a cutoff disc. I'm going to rotate both and literally I'm going to cut away that back edge and lighten it up a bit more. There we go. I will probably do it a little bit more than that, but it's a little bit hard to show in the video. But I'm going to risk taking a little bit more off than that. And here is the end result. So you can see I've gone a little bit further around that gear, lightening the boss, or actually lightening the 
a plastic rim of the gear. Again, it's all down to how much risk do you want to take, how much do you want to lighten it by, therefore weakening its structure. But there's still one more stage to go. I'm going to lighten the boss even more. You can notice this time I've moved the gear to the end, right to the end of the shaft, so there's no shaft sticking out. Here he goes. Just going to grind it away. There we go. Look at that. Don't want to make it, don't want to lighten it, don't want to risk lightening it anymore because I'm just about getting to where the grub screw screws in. But I think I've removed a fair bit of weight from that, so let's weigh it and see what we're left with. So I hope you've enjoyed that video of how to lighten your gears. Here are the two final gears. This is my 40 tooth. I said I went all out and drilled these a bit big probably. But we'll see if they're going to last. So again you'll see the before and after weights coming up on the screen. And here is the F1 gear. And you can see how much I've rounded that off, how much I've rounded the boss off, just to lighten it. And as I say, I drilled these out at one and a half mil, these holes here. If I went any bigger, it would probably come pretty close to the teeth, and I don't want to damage any of the teeth whilst I'm drilling. So next time, we're going to be gluing this gear onto an axle and turning the boss down and lightening it even further.